Assalamu alaikum. I am Muhammad Abid and the title of this course is Electrical Machines. Uh, in this course we shall talk about uh, machines which convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. These machines are called uh, generators. And uh, there are other machines which convert uh, electrical energy into mechanical energy. These machines are called motors. The working of both generators and motors is based upon magnetic fields. Uh, there is another associated um, electrical machine whose working is based upon uh, magnetic fields and these machines are called transformers. And uh, transformers uh, convert electrical energy at one voltage level into electrical energy at another voltage level. What is advantage of that? We shall also discuss it. So in this course, we shall talk in details the working of uh, generators, motors and transformers, both DC and AC uh, machines uh, that is generators and motors will be discussed in details in this uh, course. In today's lecture, we shall talk about uh, basic concepts of magnets. These uh, contents are already known to you. This uh, today's lecture will serve as a revision uh, for you. So magnets were known to human beings uh, since uh, very early times. There were uh, naturally magnetized materials and they learned that when these magnets are suspended, freely suspended horizontally, then uh, this magnet always orients itself in a particular direction. That is one end of this magnet uh, is oriented towards north pole of earth and that end of the magnet is called north seeking uh, pole of the magnet or simply north pole of the magnet and the other end of the magnet orients itself uh, towards the south pole of the earth and that is called the south pole of the magnet. Uh, these magnets uh, also exhibit uh, a few more properties that is uh, if we place uh, two magnets uh, over here uh, and similar pole they tend to repel each other while uh, the poles with opposite polarity they tend to attract each other. So how to explain this phenomenon? To explain this phenomenon, uh, Faraday proposed the concept of magnetic lines of flux. He proposed that magnetic, uh, the strength of the magnetic field at a particular point can be uh, described by intensity of the magnetic lines. So these magnetic lines uh, emerge from the north pole of the magnet and enter into the south pole. The strength of the magnet, magnetic field at a particular point can be described by the uh, intensity or density of the uh, these lines, magnetic lines. Uh, these magnetic lines of uh, flux, these are hypothetic lines, these are not real lines and uh, uh, many magnetic phenomena can be explained by these lines of flux. So these lines of flux satisfy a few properties. That is, uh, these lines of flux always follow a closed path. Magnetic lines of flux always follow a closed path emerging from the north pole and entering into the south pole of the magnet. These lines of flux never in intersect each other. Lines of flux never intersect each other. The third property, these lines of flux are like stretched cords. These are like stretched cords uh, which uh, tend to shorten themselves. If the lines uh, of flux are parallel and in the same direction. If the lines of uh, these lines of flux are parallel and are in the same direction, then these repel each other. 
that is for example if we have uh, two magnets so here we have two magnets with uh, magnetic lines of flux shown over here these lines of flux which are uh, parallel to each other and are in the same direction therefore these two magnets will tend to repel themselves uh, and uh, since uh, these lines of flux uh, emerge from north pole and enter into the south pole so if for example we have these two magnets north pole south pole these lines of flux emerging from this north pole will enter into the south pole and then these lines of flux always follow a closed path so these lines of flux are like stretched cords which uh, always tend to shorten themselves so these lines of flux will tend to shorten themselves and therefore these two magnets will attract each other so the magnetic uh, again uh, the point to emphasize is that these lines of flux are not something uh, some real lines these are just hypothetic lines hypothetical lines uh, proposed by Faraday to explain the phenomena of magnetic fields so there is another phenomena uh, related to magnetic fields uh, it was observed by a scientist Oersted in 1820 that a uh, magnetic field is produced around a current carrying conductor so if uh, a current is flowing in a conductor then magnetic field will be produced around uh, this uh, current carrying conductor. The polarity of the magnetic field can be determined by the grip rule or the right hand rule. That is, if we grip this conductor with thumb pointing in the direction of current, then these fingers will indicate the direction of um, uh, magnetic lines of flux. That is, in this case, magnetic lines of flux will be like this one. Uh, there is another more convenient notation with which you are already familiar that is dot and cross uh, uh, notation. So with this notation uh, if uh, I represent the cross section of this conductor which is shown over here if you look from the top of this conductor so current is coming out so current is coming out so by the grip rule the direction of magnetic lines of flux uh, this is the direction of the magnetic line of flux. Thumb in the direction of current which is outwards uh, and this, uh, these fingers uh, indicate the direction of magnetic line of flux like this one. Similarly, if we wrap a conductor around a magnetic material that is a conductor is wrapped on a magnetic material and if we pass current from this conductor then ferromagnetic material this is magnetized and the direction of magnetic field can again be determined by the right hand rule that is if we curl the finger in the direction of current then thumb will indicate the direction of magnetic lines of flux here this is uh, the direction of uh, current current will pass uh, in this direction through these conductors and if uh, we curl the finger in the direction of the current then this thumb will indicate the direction of magnetic lines of flux so this is direction of magnetic lines that is this end will be north pole and this one will be the south pole you are familiar with electrical circuits the path followed by electrical current that is called electrical circuit similarly magnetic lines of flux these also follow a closed path and the path followed by magnetic lines of flux is called magnetic circuit the simplest magnetic circuit is uh, this uh, uh, arrangement we have uh, a circular ring
on this circular ring we wind a wire current carrying conductor you know that if uh, we pass current through this conductor uh, this thing will be magnetized and uh, magnetic lines of flux will flow in this direction direction can be determined by the grip rule so if we grip this conductor in the direct fingers pointing in the direction of current then thumb will indicate the direction of magnetic lines of flux so magnetic lines of flux follow a closed path this closed path followed by magnetic lines of flux that is called magnetic circuit this is the simplest uh, arrangement for a magnetic circuit this arrangement is also called toroid so we shall be dealing with more uh, complex magnetic circuits and we shall learn how to analyze uh, more complex magnetic circuits for that purpose we define a few more terms these terms are already you are familiar with these terms this lecture is just a revision of those concepts